tachycardia and hypertension what is the relation tachycardia can be caused by various heart rhythm disorders and is considered as a strong predictor of hypertension and cardiovascular risk Several studies have suggested that transient tachycardia is associated with later development of sustained hypertension. Over 30% of the hypertensive patients have tachycardia. The different types of tachycardia based on the specific part of the heart causing fast heart rate and the factors associated with abnormal heart rate include atrial fibrillation which is the most common type of tachycardia causing rapid uncoordinated weak contractions of the atria atrial flutter is associated with fast beating of the atria at a regular rate which is caused by irregular circuitry within the atria Supraventricular tachycardia begins in the upper chambers of the heart causing disruption of electrical impulses coming from the sinoatrial node. This disruption results in abnormally faster heart rate which prevents the heart chambers from filling completely compromising blood flow to the rest of the body. Ventricular tachycardia begins in the lower chambers of the heart and causes abnormal electric signals in the ventricles with a rapid heart rate. Although episodes of ventricular tachycardia may be brief, they can be life-threatening if they last for more than few seconds. Ventricular fibrillation is a dangerous type of arrhythmia which may occur during or after a heart attack. It begins in the ventricles when electrical signals cause them to quiver and is usually associated with ventricular tachycardia. Heart rate is strongly associated with both peripheral and central blood pressures. Faster resting heart rate increases the risk of hypertension. Heart rate has implications on prognosis and management of hypertension. Elevated heart rate in hypertension increases risk of adverse outcomes. Higher heart rate is known to increase peripheral pressure and reduce central pressure. These antagonist effects of heart rate on the two pressures influence the selection of antihypertensive medications. Heart rate is an independent predictor of mortality in hypertension. Presence of transient tachycardia along with transient hypertension doubles the risk of sustained hypertension and cardiovascular related deaths. The following are some approaches suggested by the European Society of Hypertension to manage tachycardia in hypertensive patients. Self-measurement of heart rate by patients who are able to manage at home. Ambulatory heart rate measurement must be considered in in patients with a high heart rate in the clinic. Identify secondary causes of tachycardia. Dietary medication and weight control must be emphasized. Selective beta-1 blockers can be considered in symptomatic patients.